Tevla. It's the CG here. And welcome to another episode of Minecraft Hardcore. We're starting off in our beautiful village again. And yeah, let's get on with it. Uh, but first of all, before we start doing some changes, because I have a couple of ideas, uh, I wanted to start this episode by doing a small mining session. Uh, so you can see. I've already prepped my inventory with stuff that I need for mining. I am going to mine until my inventory is full. And I'll come back to you with all the results. So, let's get into that, shall we? And we are back from our mining trip. And as you can see from the thing that I'm holding in my inventory bar right there, we got three more diamonds to add in all of this. Uh, we got lucky. We fought off some skeletons and they drop a power one bow. So that's going to be useful for now. Uh, I know it's not the greatest, but it will do for now. Besides, we have Fletcher and we can get some arrows from him. All right, so what I want to do today is to keep on working on the house and making our island a little bit more pretty. So what I'm going to do is actually craft me some uh, furnaces, because we're going to be smelting some cobblestone. I think four stacks should be enough. more wood and basically just decorate more of the island making it a little bit more pretty because you know we've forgotten about that okay yeah I know I know you want me out I will be out soon I promise okay Okay, so let's set up our furnaces and start melting all of this stone. There we go. Now for the inside of the house, it's going to be something really simple. I'm just going to place the bed around uh, here. Uh, place a couple chests for valuables and stuff like that. And maybe a couple armor stands for a gold armor for what we go from to the nether. Just to create this simply. Um, down here, I kind of want to start terraforming a little and making a path. Because that's what we're going to use to go up and down. And over there, I'm going to build like a, I don't know, maybe like a storage room or something. So yeah, let's have something nice. Alright, so I've carved myself some nice little pathway. I kind of terraformed the, this part a little bit and I cut this part of the this kind of hill because I want to make something really nice like a stone overhang so you know we kind of have like a lookout around here or something something along those lines. Oh we cut one more. Yeah, something like that. Uh, that's why I'm waiting for my stone to finish. I guess I could take a look and... Oh, it's about time to go to sleep.
No, I just realized that, you know, we have a full view of the village from this window. That's pretty neat. I like that. Alright, check out our stone. Okay. A stack and a half, almost. What we're going to do here is... Let's do... Get some stone going in here. Probably some logs as well. Yeah, something like this in order to create like a nice little kind of wall barrier thing. Figure this pan out in a moment. Uh, we have a couple of logs. We have to chop that tree over there. And I need another pickaxe, so yeah, I'm gonna pick that up and I'll be right back. So uh, I might have gone a little bit overboard with the building, as you can clearly see. I, yeah, I just went on building and I forgot I was not recording. So, yeah. But anyways, let me show you what I did. Uh, so I did this little bridge, something really simple. Just, you know, a couple slabs, a couple log pillars. And just so we can, you know, go through our house without having to swim that little lake. Which, by the way, I made this thing a little bit larger. So it's not like five blocks. And it looks a little bit better. I will, however, go... On, I'm, I am going to make it deeper. So it looks like an actual lake and not like a small pond. I guess. Um, yeah, we did the wall. Uh, I started to randomize it for a little bit, but I'll do that in another time. Um, yeah, the wall just basically almost surrounds the whole thing. And... What else? What else did we do? Oh! Yes. I planted more trees, as you can see. And I've been trading with some of the villagers around the place. Let's see. Uh, I've locked a couple of them, like for example, our farmer. Oh, I don't think I've shown you, but yeah. The road is already kind of finished. Um, I need to fix that up a little bit. Yeah, so the farmer is already locked. He has a carrot trade. We locked in the Fletcher with the stick trade. Okay. And we got a second iron golem, as you can see, because our villagers are actually multiplied. We have a new villager in town, which should be in this house. No, he's not. Uh, anyways, we'll, we'll see him around. So, yeah, that's so far what I've done. I put some glass on the house and just started to make it look a little bit pretty, but my concern now is that we're running out of space to save chests. I I heard a baby zombie and I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Yeah, it's it's somewhere around here. It's probably down below. There's probably like a cave going through here. I'm not gonna worry about that now. So I thought about what to do in this little place in here. And what I'm thinking of is I'm making a little shed for our storage, but it's going to be like super small, like three by three or something like that. But the catch is I don't have any more of wood, so we're going to have to work on that. Uh, something along those lines, I don't know. We'll probably just make it closer. The catch will be that our actual storage unit is going to be below ground. Like this is going to be just like a cover up for our secret storage. There's something along the side. Something really small. 
Okay, we're gonna hide like a staircase in here and stuff. Uh, did I not save my old wood? I don't even have it. I made a stone cutter so I can you know, make stone stuff easier. Uh, I don't tell me I don't have any more. All right, so I have to go and chop down some trees. Um. Oh, and as you can see here, yes, my first diamond tool is a shovel, because why not? And we have a lectern and some reeds. So the lectern is because we want our new villager to be a librarian, so we can get uh, good enchantments. Uh, the primordial enchantments that we want, the best ones I w we should have in that villager, if I can find it, let's hope it's not dead or something. Um, the best ones that we want is mending, uh, unbreaking three, and efficiency. Efficiency five, I think we can get. I am not sure, yet, but any efficiency will do. Obviously, hopefully it's not like efficiency one. You know, it has to be a little bit higher than that. Um. Yeah, that guy is going to provide our enchanted books, so we can start with some enchanting of our own. Uh, so, since we don't have an enchantment table just yet, I just want to get some enchantments. Like, for example, I don't know, efficiency 5, so I can start mining for obsidian and get the uh, enchanting table properly and start breeding some of those cows. And get more books so I can make there's another one so I can make a proper enchanting room obviously you know we are going to use the enchanted books a little bit more but there are some small enchantments that we don't want to have a villager destined to do them like I don't know uh, thorns that, that's a bad example but you know what I mean we, we don't want to there he is look at him this is a new guy Hey, how you doing, buddy? Hey, do you wanna, do you wanna be a librarian? No. Oh, okay. Oh, it's the gathering time. Okay, yeah. So they're gonna reset for the day. Um. Yeah. We want to have this librarian so we can start gathering up more resources. And as for the lead, oh. Okay, you, you saw that on camera. We found a wandering trader. And accidentally, we'll just leave it at that. He fell and dropped his leaves. Yeah, we'll go with that. So I saved his llamas in this pen, but as you can see, they they despawned. So I guess we're gonna get the cows. Come on, come here, buddy. One, come on, and two should be there. You go. There you are. We're gonna get some cows so we can start a farm. I can probably make a cow crusher you know what i'm gonna start a cow crusher it's a way better idea and i can make everything right now i'm just gonna move those cows around here Let's see. Okay. there it is come on come on in come on it's not that hard. Come on, do the door. No, you stay. Okay. Let's start a simple cow crusher then, first of all. Because the design over here is going to take a while. Because we we'll have to dig down and just make all the room for it. And But I'll do that off camera and I'll show you the progress. Uh, the cow crusher can go, since cows are going to be pretty loud, I think I'm going to make it down here somewhere. Or I could probably make it on the ground in my, in my storage room, actually. That does not sound bad. 
uh, look at this nice little sunset as we go to sleep in our fairly finished house. It has nothing in the interior yet. Uh, but that's just going to be decorations, really. I am not going to build anything too functional in here. Because, you know, we're going to have this village with a bunch of villagers with professions. And we're going to have a storage room, which I'm going to build downstairs, down there, down this hill. And we're going to make some useful stuff over there. Obviously, I'm going to have the basics, you know, a couple furnaces, uh, crafting tables, and maybe some... Well, I already explained. Armor stands and a couple of chests, but nothing too large, I guess. Uh, let's go to sleep. So, I was just finishing cutting up some of those trees, and look at what I found. We have another baby villager. That means that if my calculations are correct, we have a total of seven villagers now. Our village is growing, guys. We might be able to get a decent sized village if this keeps going. Our farmer is doing a great job with the crops. That is that is good to hear. Oh, there's our new guy. I was wanting to make him a librarian now. See if we can lock him fast. Curse of Vanishing. That won't do, my friend. Nope. Alright, I'm gonna speed up this process. I'll be back. Well, that didn't take too long. Uh, look at what I got. Uh, 10 emerald, 1 book mending trade. I am going to lock you right now. And hey, we got our mending books. Uh, I don't know where your house is. So I don't know where to drop your lectern. You know what? I guess I'll wait until it's nighttime, which should be fairly soon. And I'll follow you home and I'll just drop your lectern over there. Yeah. Now we have mending, guys. We have a mending villager. This is going so well so far. Uh, try not to fall in the well, please. You know what? This is not. This is, this is not. I'm going to cover this up. Just so people don't fall in there. I don't want to have you. Yes, 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 I know. I, I know it's your well. Yes, y yes. I just don't want you falling in there, dude. I'll make you another one. Don't worry. Okay, yeah, calm down. Man, those villagers have quite the attitude. Anyways, I'm gonna keep chopping up some trees. I'll be right with you. Alright, so... Uh-oh. Oh god. I was about to say... I went a little overboard and just build this small little shed, but look at what we have over there. We have our first pillager convoy. You know what? Let me sleep. And let's hope they don't come by. Oh, they are coming by. Oh, no. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to stay around here. I don't want to trigger a raid. Or you know what? What I can do is I'm going to go to sleep. I'll probably take them on as far away from the village as I can and I'll get a bucket of milk so I can get that effect off and I can start you know don't start right oh god there's zombie in the village there you go buddy set you whoever you were uh, Alright, let's sleep and take on the pillagers. Shoot. Ouch, no, that is that's not good. Let me get my shield. I don't I didn't like that. That was a little bit Oh god, that was scary. I'm debating if I should actually go and take on the pillagers. You know me, I am a risk taker, so I'm going to do that. We got our bucket of milk, and we're going to drive them as far away from the village as we can. Are they still there? They are. They're at my house. Damn. Alright, it's easy. We're just going to run by. 
grab their attention and just run away. Hey guys, I'm human. I'm I'm scared. Like I don't I don't want to die. There they there's one of them. There's the raid leader. Where are the other ones? Are they inside my house? No, they're not. They're probably here, gone. Where are the other ones? I hear them. Where are the other ones? Down here? No. You stop that. Alright, come by. I don't see the other ones, which is a little bit concerning, but I'm gonna get this guy over here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ha! Expertly dodged. Did you see that? Where am I getting shot from? Who's shooting me? I, I can't see anything. Wait, hang on. Why are they invisible? Hang on. What? You know what, let me restart. I, I'm not gonna fight invisible enemies. Ah, there you go. So we got one. Yeah, did the did the leader despawn? Or did he die in the lava? The banner guy. But it it appears that he did. Yep. Okay. I don't, I don't know what happened there. I, I was just trying to showcase my small shed and I was getting attacked and... Okay, this thing's just getting crazy. Uh, so yeah, I built this little shed. Uh, we're gonna dig down from here. We're gonna make a small staircase going down and we'll have a nice storage room. But for now, I think this is a nice place to end it after this very weird battle so you know i'll see you guys in the next one bye, -bye.